are back with more faculty face time and we've made our way up to the School of Medicine today. We're with Dr. John Zone. He is the chairman of the Department of Dermatology. So you're all about skin. Win with skin, that's our motto. <laughs> Win with skin. Uh, what, what is it that you're doing, before we get into the questions, what is it you're doing here in the department right now that's uh, particularly interesting, especially for people who live in this area? Well, we're doing a lot of things in the department. Uh, one of the main things we, we concentrate on is uh, diagnosis and treatment of skin cancer. We just had our annual skin cancer screening day at the uh, Huntsman Cancer Institute, which is, we saw I think between five and 600 people who we do free skin, can free skin cancer screening, total body skin cancer screening. And that's always an exciting time for us to get people, make people more aware of skin cancer people. Okay. Got another question. This is from Marion Johnson Holland. Why do some Caucasians burn and or tan and other Caucasians do not? Uh, in other words, my Caucasian dad rarely burns. He also rarely uses sunscreen. Some of my siblings just usually tan. And I need sunscreen on my nose and shoulders or else they will burn. My red auburn headed husband burns quite often. Why is that? <laughs> yeah, well, the, the fact is that the, the Italians and the Greeks and the 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 people from the, the southern Mediterranean areas uh, genetically are much less likely to sunburn than uh, northern Europeans. In, in Utah, we have a lot of northern Europeans, Scandinavians, English people who were moved to a very sunny climate, and uh, so we end up... Okay, and uh, one last question. This is from Jason Rose. I've been hearing a lot lately about vitamin D deficiency and the role of the sun in making sure we get enough vitamin D. Is there a reasonable way to ensure we get enough sun exposure to meet the body's need for vitamin D without increasing the risk of sun damage? Yeah, this is a very controversial area. Um, the fact is that uh, sunlight, when it shines on the skin, converts various chemicals to active forms of vitamin D. And so the fact is if you get a lot of sun exposure, it will increase your vitamin D levels. However, that also produces damage to the skin, so it's kind of a double-edged sword for good and bad. Uh, we recommend that people get their vitamin D in dietary uh, amounts. Uh, certainly uh, things like uh, dairy products and uh, vitamin D supplemented orange juice and things like that represent a standard good source of vitamin D, as well as vitamin tablets. And when I was a kid, it was a big healthy dose of cod liver oil. Yeah, that's a pretty severe treatment. Yeah, but. luckily they're flavored now, yeah. so it's not that bad. Well, yeah. Dr. Zone, thank you very much uh, right. for letting us into your office. Uh, we've been talking with Dr. John Zone. He's the chairman of the dermatology department here at the University uh, Med Medical School. Again, thank you for your time. Uh, make sure you check back often. We've got a lot of different interviews with a lot of uh, variety of, of faculty here at the U, so uh, we'll catch you next time. Thanks.